so many things in my life that I've been proud of. I've just been so fortunate in so many different ways, but there's no doubt that the thing that tops the list is my children. And my son Noah is a senior this year, and tonight it's actually homecoming. And what's even cooler is that he's on the homecoming court. I'm just proud of my son. I think it's really cool that he's even nominated to the homecoming court. Again, if you haven't ever been nominated, it's not a big, I wasn't nominated when I was a kid, but it's pretty cool that both my daughter and my son have both made it to that level of popularity in their school, which is really cool because that means that they treat people properly. And the one thing that me and Lori have continuously tried to tell our kids and teach our kids is to treat people with respect and to be nice to as many people as you possibly can. Hey, I'm not saying that they're perfect because they certainly are far from it, but I'm also a parent that thinks the world of my kids. So tonight is gonna be pretty awesome. But right now I have a bunch of snake work to do. I've gotta go through what I fed in ball pythons yesterday and then I have to feed adult colubrids. So I have to get all that work done so that I can get to the gym and then after the gym, head home and enjoy this evening with my family. All right guys, so I'm done going through the baby ball pythons. It was really good. We checked about, I don't know, maybe 700 baby ball pythons and three of them didn't eat. So that's a pretty good odd. As a matter of fact, this is a really weird camera. Isn't it like the the people always say like, get this view instead of this view because this view makes you look fat. I'm not really sure. Oh well, it doesn't matter to me. Anyways, I'm gonna clean uh, or not clean, I'm gonna be feeding Clubridge today. So that's the last thing I need to do here before I head out and spend some family time and go see my son, hopefully uh, have a great time tonight. So uh, back to feeding Clubridge. Come here, buddy. Come to think about it, I actually drove to that homecoming dance in a Cadillac <laughs> that I borrowed from a family friend. So uh, I was completely pimping out that particular day. So uh, it'll be interesting to see if Noah follows suit. Uh, I don't even know what he's wearing tonight. So when we get home tonight, we're gonna find out what he looks like and how he's gonna act. Uh, knowing that kid, it's gonna be over the top. It's 3.40 now. I have to leave at 3.35, which means I have 15 minutes to feed this entire wall of snakes. Now, typically it takes about 45 minutes, so I am gonna be in hyper speed here because I have to go to the gym for an hour and then go right from the gym, head home, because I wanna see Noah get dressed and kind of talk to him, get excited, and then we head out to the football game, the high school football game, and then at halftime, I believe, is when the ceremony is to find out, you know, what happens, so I better get to work. Crazy. That was like speed feeding. I don't think I've ever fed the adult colubrids faster than that. But I just, this day just was getting away from me and uh, I just ran out of time. So uh, I did get everything fed, so we're in good shape. I'm off to the gym right now. Uh, gonna go spend an hour and 15 minutes or so at the gym and then uh, just heading back, uh, just do a real quick check of the shop, shut it down. And then uh, actually, I think Trevor and Jessica are working late tonight, so they'll be there anyways. And then I get to head home and uh, see what Noah has in store for us. And oh my God. God, it is a look at this outside it is rainy and nasty and it's about 62 degrees right now um, it is not gonna be a fun night to be outside at a high school football game but uh but hey I'll do whatever I need to to see my son and uh, hopefully it won't be too terribly bad for him so uh so anyways hitting the that's a whole lot of cops and different things for a little fender bender it's not really a fender bender, but it doesn't look that bad. I hope everyone's all right, but. Ready for tonight? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Yeah? All right, so this is just a prelude. Look at this. <laughs> Look at this guy. <laughs> Look at this coat. And he's got some white shoes, and I'm assuming, I'm not sure what else is gonna happen here tonight, so. Uh, Oh my gosh, look at this, white. Good luck tonight. We'll see you there. What do you think about Noah's chances? Well, I think it's a one out of four. <laughs> Uh, uh, 
Poor Noah. <laughs> well, that's a bummer. I did it, but that's okay because uh, it still was awesome to be nominated. <laughs> disappointed that Noah didn't win the king of homecoming but uh, the truth is is that I'm just proud of him for what he's done you know I'm proud that he was even nominated and and sometimes this is a great learning experience for for me as a father and for him that you know not you don't always win and, and sometimes you just have to accept where you're at and and be grateful for what you did and 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 if you think about it there were so many kids that didn't get the honor of being in the homecoming court and and they shouldn't be ashamed either you know we all you know have uh great things to be thankful for and and i'm just thankful for my son noah and 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 my daughter who uh, just a few years ago was on her homecoming court uh i guess it's been more than a few years now but um i'm just really blessed to have an amazing family and and uh and when life is just crazy and business and all kinds of things going on and traveling uh the one thing that is constant for me is the fact that i have an amazing family that I love so dearly and uh, every now and then I lose focus on that and I have to keep, come back and bring myself to it so uh, regardless it was a great night didn't end exactly the way we wanted it but I'm not complaining whatsoever it still was a wonderful time to see minus the rain and the cold weather so uh, I hope you guys have an amazing day I certainly had an amazing day today and I'll see you guys tomorrow